standing before mm -hmm. St. George and the Dragon, 1470. Um, Biba, tell us about what's happening in Okay, so this scene depicts St. George killing a dragon who has captured this princess because the dragon has been terrorizing the princess's city for some time and the king thought it would be fair to sacrifice his own daughter to be terrorized as well. But George comes in and he saves the day gracefully and nicely. Yeah, so I mean, personally, I don't really like this painting, but what we've got here is a lot of international Gothic style. Um, Got stylized clouds over here. Got stylized hay, and I think we've got some patterns on a dragon with some wings. Bizarre. Um, but he does. I give it to him. Show a little bit of perspective. Mm -hmm. We've got some patches of grass going on. Linear yeah. perspective. Linear perspective. And also the cobbles mm -hmm. and the vertical lines also point forward. But what we must say about this painting is that. George over here, what would you say? He's weak. Looks <laughs> weak. And what he is he doing? He's killing stylized. the dragon. He's putting in his lance into the nostril of the dragon. He looks a sick, pale human However, being. However, I think he was to... trying to show that George is strong enough to be graceful while yeah. he's killing the dragon. Like, he doesn't need all the strength. He is just as strong as a person himself. She doesn't look scared because she knows George is here I mean, to save the day. I mean, you can see the maiden over here. She looks incredibly yeah. cool. She looks fashionable. This is what would have been in the fashion at the time. But you know what? It's not personally in our eyes. It's, we wouldn't say it's a good painting. Yeah. This is painted in 1470. We've had humanism. We've had it. And we get this. <laughs>